Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Happy New Year, and it's not too late to say that because it is our first brand new Go Island show of the year 2014. It's great to be back on the air here on Shaw TV. Today we're in the kitchen at the Iron Walk because there is more New Year celebration to come. It's Chinese New Year and Robbie Burns Day. Extreme passion for extreme weather. Life is good after a kidney transplant, and Bob Barton is not shy anymore. You are watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. Robbie Burns Day is January the 25th. He would have been 255 years old this year. He died at the tender young age of only 37. That was in 1796, I believe. And of course, Chinese New Year takes place on January the 31st. And these folks here are kind of mishmashing, fusing the two cultures together in a fun event. And today we're going to make haggis wontons. First, though, there was a young man who was diagnosed with autism here in Nanaimo, and he has a huge passion for extreme weather. Here's Kelly Robinson. I think we can live with that forecast, drier than usual bit colder than usual as long as spring is on the way I think we're all good here on Vancouver Island you're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4 we are fusing cultures today we're making haggis wontons Lloyd what is haggis first of all <laughs> oh well haggis is a very special Scottish dish oh, that's one and way to it's very it. <laughs> very traditional for uh, Robbie Burns and uh, when they celebrate Robbie Burns uh, day they usually have a big banquet and one of the main ingredients is, is haggis, haggis, which is sheep intestines. Uh, is that right? Yeah, well, it's sort of like, you know, it could be, you know, like the heart and liver and okay. all that kind of stuff chopped up, but put in, you know, the sheep's stomach, right? It's like and pate. it could be. It's just yeah, something, yeah, something like pate, yeah. yeah. Okay, now I think there's a right way and a wrong way to do these these wontons. That might be too much. And it's a, oh, it's a five <laughs> finger pinch, right? Now, I don't know if I would naturally think of the Scottish culture. Mm -hmm. and the Chinese culture as being very similar. Are you celebrating a contrast between cultures here? <laughs> or <laughs> we, Swan and I celebrate a contrast between cultures every day. Right. <laughs> so this is more the blending of the two cultures. And, <laughs> and uh, I, think that, I think that the Chinese and the Scottish cultures, you know, do have a lot in common. And uh, I think that when you take a look at their, at their uh, you know, background and the Scottish, they left Scotland and settled in just about every corner of the world and the Chinese left China and settled in just about every corner of the world and uh, a lot of times for very similar reasons. And I think that uh, they're, they're, you know, it makes them very open and very um, amenable to other cultures and to new ideas and that kind of thing and I think that you know Chinese culture is different than the Scottish culture but on the other hand I think that both cultures have an open mind towards other cultures and, and I think that you know with Robbie Burns coming on the 25th of January and the Chinese New Year very close to Robbie Burns every year Robbie Burns Day you know I it, it's sort of a good Makes time sense. to have a Why big not? party you know big party sounds good that party yeah, sure. is taking place on yeah. January the 18th we'll give you more details about what to expect and how important it is to get your tickets in advance later on this edition of Go Island we're also going to talk about the year of the horse which it is which Swan is and she's going to tell us about that a bit later on it's time now though for a short break Still to come, following through on the promise of a kidney. Rapid fire with Ryan Forbes and empowering a 10-year-old boy. We first introduced you to Melanie and Christina here on the channel back in spring of last year. Melanie needed a new kidney and her friend Christina had stepped up. Well, Christina followed through on her promise. Melanie has a new kidney, and life is good. Did you know that the first telephone in British Columbia connected Wellington and Departure Bay in 1877? 
And did you know that 2014 is the year of the horse under the Chinese zodiac? If you were born in the years, and I'm going to give you a bit of a list now, 1930, 1942, 1954, 1966, 1978, 1990, 2002, or if you're being born this year, you are a horse under the Chinese zodiac. And Swan McElholm fits into that category. What are some of the characteristics of, of the horse personality? Okay, in here, the, some people said that the horse used to be very cheerful, very popular, and smart with money. Oh, is that yeah. you? Are, are you, are <laughs> you smart, smart with, with your money? I think so. Oh, good, good. Yeah. And also they I'm said, um, also they said uh, the horse people very talkative, and showing. Talkative <laughs> and showing. Showy. I'm mm. not sure I'm very talkative or not. <laughs> yes, they have a radio show, as you may know from watching uh -huh. Go Island. Yes. Okay, yeah, so they have some very uh, nice uh, personality too. They also will say, right, horse people match. If you go to dating or you want to find a husband, whatever, you may use this, you know, what kind of the other people can match you, right? Which okay. year they were born. In here they said, the horse person gets along best with whoever born in the year of tiger, dog, and sheep. Tiger, dog, and sheep, <laughs> and sheep. if you're a yeah, horse they get here very well. Okay, do, so. we, do we want to get into any of the negative qualities or some uh -huh. of the things that maybe a horse person uh -huh. might want to work on to improve their personality? Do oh, I see. Um, horse people, they said, is sometimes they like to change the idea. If they get a new idea, they will uh, pursue to that, but if they cannot finish that idea, they will change to a new one, right? Okay, maybe a so, bit scattered, kind of yeah. jumping from one idea to yeah, another without yeah. seeing it through uh -huh. to the end. And also, they said the horse people uh, is easy to fall in love. <laughs> oh, and that's a bad thing. So, <laughs> <laughs> maybe not the too good. <laughs> Yeah, okay. but uh, the major personality for horse person is they um, love uh, liberty, they like freedom. So if they can get the freedom, they can get, you know, they can sacrifice anything for the freedom, right? Okay. Yeah. Excellent. That's Thank you, Swan. Good. Yeah. Okay. okay, it is the year of the horse, 2014. There is a big Chinese New Year celebration in conjunction with Robbie Burns Day taking place at Bowen Park on January the 18th. We're going to tell you a little bit more about that later on this edition of Go Island. But first, we're throwing over to Dan Marshall. It's our first installment of Rapid Fire for 2014. Nanaimo faces Powell River at Frank Crane Arena on Friday. Then they host Prince George on Sunday. We're talking this weekend, uh, January 17th and 18th. And I think the uh, the haggis wontons are ready to go into the deep fryer here. We'll taste those later on this edition of Go Island. Another note on the Clippers, they are hosting their uh, fundraiser. It's a beverage and burger night that takes place at the game at Frank Crane. They are facing the Victoria Grizzlies on January the 31st. There will be a silent auction kids under 12 are free you need advanced tickets and you can do that by contacting Carrie 250-754-1806 ah and nothing like the sizzle of some floating wontons here at the iron walk we're going to leave you with a closer look at that while we throw you over to our events calendar You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. Deep fried haggis wontons. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. crunch, crunch. Yeah, good. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Very good. Very good. different. I can see some dips or something good. going yeah. with them. Now, this is only one of many, many items that the Iron Walk will be catering at the big Chinese New Year's Robbie Burns celebration, January 18th at Bowen Park. What else can we expect, Lloyd, from the event? Well, Besides uh, lots of food. Yeah, we're going to open up with some uh, Highland dancing, which uh, is very nice. And uh, we're going to have uh, a bagpipe band come in and play. Okay, and that's always Scottish a highlight. Park covered. And uh, um, a, excuse me, a lion dance. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to have a lion dance. And then uh, after that, we're going to have a lion sword dance, which okay. uh, we started uh, two years ago. And, and is that event. a blending of the cultures? The well, sword. Yeah, that's it. It's, a, it's the Scottish sword dance uh, done by um, Chinese lion that does wow. the lion dance. Okay. And uh, so that's always fun. And uh, we have the address the haggis. 
We do it in three languages. Nice. And uh, you know, basically uh, Burns talk, whatever language that was. English, wasn't and, it? Well, <laughs> I don't know. It, it, um, kind of a Scottish right. type. Yeah, it can be hard and, to follow. And then um, we have um, um, somebody doing the uh, Cantonese, going to be doing part of the Address of Haggis in Cantonese. Cool. And uh, somebody else doing another part in, in Mandarin. Okay, now one, so of my New Year's, one of my New Year's resolutions is to stay on time with this show. We've got people coming into the restaurant here. Doors are open. I think uh, the fire department's coming in for a, a check right now. Hi, guys. Hi, boys. How you doing? Um, the event sells out most of the time. You want to get your tickets in advance. Is that right? Absolutely. Absolutely. How Absolutely. do you do that? What number do you call? 250-729-9948, ask for Swan. Ask for Swan, that's this lady right here, woman behind the scenes and in front of the scenes. We're gonna throw things over now to a young boy who without the support of Variety Children's Charity would not have flourished into the outspoken young man that he is. He started out kind of shy. The power wheelchair that he now has made all the difference. The Show of Hearts Telethon is coming up on January 25th and 26th. It'll be airing on both Global and Shaw TV. You can get full details on entertainment and find ways that you can donate and participate. www.variety.bc.ca That brings us to the end of this edition of Go Island. Robbie Burns Day, January 25th. Chinese New Year, January 31st. A fusion of the two events and a big celebration taking place at Bowen Park on Saturday, January the 18th. For o'clock until 7. Tickets do sell out. You want to get yours in advance and you can do that by calling Swan. Her telephone number is 250-729-9948. Thanks for watching this edition of Go Island. Happy New Year. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Clothing supplied by Catwalk Fashions. Kate's hair and aesthetics provided by Matteo Salon.